everyone just woke up um and i just wanted to chat to you guys um uh, my skin's doing really great and i've started to sleep with my bandages again because after going to the mother's dinner, I scratched a bit and um, I thought it'd be better off if I go back to doing my arms again. So I've been back to wrapping my bandages every night, which I don't mind. Um, yeah, Sunday today and uh, me, my boyfriend and his brother were going to... What beach was it? I can't remember the name of the beach, but I can't think right now. My brain's not working. And then when we come back, my friend who just had her second baby, she's coming over to my house and we can see the baby. So I'm so excited. I'll vlog that. And yeah, I'm so excited to see the baby. And so yeah, that's the plan for today. So the beach ended up being Marubra Beach, which is a little bit south. I do the never eat soggy with pigs. <laughs> I know my fellow Australians get me. Um, I was saying it's south from um, Coogee Beach. about to do the red light therapy and I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys how my neck and this area here looks like because it's been the most like difficult part to heal recently and it gets really itchy sometimes and the itch the itch is crazy so I just can't help but scratch it or like rub it and then it weeps a little bit not like before when i had a weepy face or my legs it's not it doesn't get that weepy but it still does a little bit 
and then it forms that scab and yeah it's just like it just gets so itchy and my eyebrows are not fully back yet i feel like this time it's taking a lot more time to grow so i've got to be patient on that and yeah my face is looking a little bit flaky i hope i'm not going into another flare i've got plans this weekend with my friend and hopefully it won't go into a flare so yeah i'm just gonna do the red light therapy now Today we went to the Bondi market. It was my first time going there and I'm so excited. Thing to eat and we found Goslame and I know it has gluten and cheese but I just couldn't help it and I was really craving for it so it smelled really nice okay um, so yeah that's what we got I got the cheese spinach and mushroom and my boyfriend got the leek and pumpkin and cheese um, yeah and we had it in the car because there were so many people at the market and it it tasted so freaking delicious. It was worth breaking the diet mm -hmm. for that meal. Okay, so I was too shy to talk for the video in front of my boyfriend, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover. Um, I ended up buying the shells, the like designed shells, I don't know what they're called, um, for my grandparents when I see them in, at the end of this year so um, they're so pretty I got four four shells I'm gonna be showing you guys one by one um, but I ended up getting two of the same designs because they were so cute and I just fell in love with them so I bought each of my grandparents I a Christmas sack with like koalas and Australian birds and yeah, they're really pretty um, I saw them at Target and they were really pretty so I got them and my plan is I'm gonna I'm gonna fill them up with these mm. with small presents so that it will fill up the bag and I'll give it to them as Christmas presents so I'm having so much fun picking the little gifts to put in the bag <laughs> I'll make sure to show you guys once it's all filled up. I was blow drying my hair and noticed these small hairs and it made me happy because it means that all the hair that fell out at the beginning of TSW, they're all growing back. Hey guys, today marks six months of TSW and this is my monthly skin update. So as you can see, my face is doing pretty well. And a few days ago, I told you guys about how my neck and this area here was a really problematic area. And it's like the scabs have fallen down, the scabs have fallen off. So it looks a bit better, but it's still a little bit weepy from last night. And it's just the itchiest area um, and also my arms as well my arms have been pretty itchy and I've actually um, gone back to bandaging them again before sleep because I it's just like so itchy and I'm scared that I'm gonna scratch them during the night and also the skin on my arms are getting a little bit thinner again um, so I don't know if that's got to do anything with the sensory issues, but I have that little sensory issue back again. So whenever something touches my arms, it just feels so uncomfortable and um, 
it kind of like burns in a way so i'm back to bandaging my arms again um and yeah and last night i scratched my face um i remember scratching my face it was so so itchy and i was putting ice back as well but um in the middle of the night i could feel that it was a little bit weepy but i left it there um I didn't wipe it off, I left it there so that it can dry up and form the crust. And yeah, today I woke up and it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. Because like, when you think about where I was a few months ago, after scratching it, it would have been so much worse and like so weepy and raw and it was just like, yeah, like, I'm so glad that that phase is over. So yeah, um, I can see that my skin has gotten so much stronger in that way like i can see that it's um not as damaged as it would have been if i were to do the same amount of scratching and i've been able to sleep again and it's just like quality sleep i don't like i used like how i used to sleep before going through tsw so yeah i'm really grateful for that and this whole time I used to think that um, whenever I had good sleeps it was because of the supplements that I'm taking because one of them is like to reduce stress and um, and then that <clears throat> helps me to sleep better but um, one time I, I ran out of it and I had a period of time where I didn't take the sub take the didn't take the supplement and I was sleeping fine like I had no problems so so because of that i'm really confident that i'm not reliant on the supplements and because um a part of me was and i was worried that if i were to stop the supplements um i my body wouldn't be able to cope with this situation but i'm feeling pretty confident that i'm not reliant on them so yeah that's a good um mentality i guess um, in healing and my eyebrows are growing back slowly taking its time but it's surely growing back um, and I think this past month was really big for me because it gave me so much hope it was the first time I saw the light at the end of the tunnel um, after yeah because I was in a really low, I guess, phase um, for five months because I didn't see improvements. It was really hard. Like, it was such a hard five months. And then finally in this past month, I was able to go out, go out to have lunch or just to go out to the shops. Also, I went to the event and I, I went. I also went to the staff dinner event. It was nice to interact with people again, but at the same time, I did feel a little bit, a little bit stressed, and I could feel that my body was, um, my skin was stressed as well because I went into a stress flare, um, uh, like a day after I went to the mother's mother's dinner. Um, yeah, and. Yeah, I've been doing red light therapy every day and a lot of people ask me how like to ask me how that's going and if it's working. But to be honest with you, I don't know if it's working because I'm doing a lot of things to help heal my skin. So when I see improvements, um, I can't say that it's one specific thing that helped me. So all of it together, it's helping me. And I'm sure red light therapy is um, doing its part as well. But yeah, I think just if your skin's not worsening after you try that thing, um, I think just keep going because your skin is um, quick to tell if it doesn't like something. But when it does like something, they don't show it like overnight, you know, so just if it's not worsening, keep trying, you will see results. And I don't, and I think um, there's nothing to lose um, in doing it except for like 10 minutes. <clears throat> so, yeah, okay, let me show you how my rest of my body looks. My stomach is doing great. 
as usual, I just, I got um, a bit of like a rash at the very beginning of TSW, but after that, uh, I didn't get anything and it's just, it feels strong as well. And my back as well. And can you see my neck? It's got a bit of rash, but yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, my legs. Can you see them? They get itchy sometimes. Yeah. And they've got, they've still got the elephant skin. I haven't been doing the Dead Sea Salt Bath as much as I was before, like in the previous months, but I still do them um, maybe like once a week or once in two weeks, depending on how my skin is. I feel like, for me, I feel like I want to hop in the bath when my skin is really, really like, really like weepy um because it feels so uncomfortable and i just want to like hop in and wash it off and let the dead sea salt heal my wounds um but when i have like crusty scabs um on my skin i don't want to do it because it softens the scabs and i want it to stay there until my skin the skin underneath heals so i guess that's kind of like my indicator on when i take the bath and today my my skin is a bit weepy and my arms weepy as well so i just wanted to do the bath but my boyfriend oh, it's a public holiday today and my boyfriend and his brother wants to go um to ikea so i want to go as well i was thinking of doing the bath in the morning but i'll do it when i come back I feel like I'm forgetting to say something. Like I should write down what things to talk about in the monthly skin update as I go through the month because I forget and I have things that I'd be like, oh, I should talk about this in the monthly update. But see, I forget things. I should write it down. So that's the end of the month six update um thanks so much for watching and it's so nice to hear that people are waiting for my vlogs and videos on youtube it really motivates me to create more and share my journey with you guys i love sharing my journey with you guys um so yeah thanks so so much for the support and for watching this video make sure you subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.